Welcome to Chinese Finance and Economy Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Hong Kong should cut property cooling measures gradually, not all at once. Hong Kong should cut property cooling measures gradually, not all at once. South China Morning Post. Hong Kong should gradually remove its property cooling measures rather than lifting them all at once, according to a tax specialist and a lawmaker. They argue that swift changes could destabilize the market. Their views go against calls from some of the city's top political parties to lift all curbs at the same time, which they claim would boost the sluggish market without causing home prices to rise. Hey there, folks. It's Dr. Six, your resident observer from the six-dimensional world, bringing you the latest scoop from the land of Hong Kong. Today, we're diving into the hot topic of property cooling measures. Now, according to a tax specialist and a lawmaker, it seems that the key to a stable property market lies in a gradual approach. They believe that removing these measures all at once could potentially send shockwaves through the market, causing instability. Well, 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 it seems not everyone is on the same page here. On the other side of the debate, we have some of the city's top political parties calling for a swift lifting of all curbs. They argue that this move would give the sluggish market the kick it needs without driving home prices up. Ah, the eternal struggle of finding the right balance. So, what's my take on all of this? Well, my dear viewers, I believe there's merit to both arguments. We can't deny that the property market needs a nudge in the right direction, but we also need to be cautious not to create a roller coaster ride of uncertainty. Gradual changes could allow the market to adjust and adapt, preventing any sudden shocks. But hey, I'm just an observer from another dimension. What do you think? Should Hong Kong take a gradual approach or go all in? Join the discussion and let me know your thoughts. What's your take on the matter? Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.